So I'm going to show a lofting trick to properly loft between different curves and how to get around certain issues. So I'm going to create a basic shape here and create a temporary curve here. I've got grid snapping on and here's a cool trick. I can select these two points and loft between them. I'm going to click OK select this curve and delete it and select these two points and loft. All right, so I have this basic shape. Now I'm going to decrease the grid amount and do something similar, but a different shape. So we're going to loft between two different shapes and loft here and loft there. Okay, so far so good. So I'm going to select all of these curves and move them about right here. Perfect. Okay, so let's say I want to loft a shape between all of these curves. Well, if I select all of them and press L, nothing happens. Now, I might be able to loft between individual ones and I might be able to subdivide some of this and might be able to figure all of that process out. But uh, here's a couple of ways around this. So if I select this as a face and then this as a face, I can actually loft between them and that actually creates a solid for me. So that's pretty cool. But uh, another way of doing this is I can select all of these curves and press J to join them and select all of these and join those as well. And I can loft between them, but notice that we have the ends are not uh, accounted for. So I'm going to hide these and going to select all of these edges and patch the patch the hole here and same on this side and say okay and now we have a solid. So that's a really quick way of basically transitioning from one shape to another shape and getting good smooth transition. Now what's cool about this, if I back this up a little bit, we should be able to do this at an angle. So let's say we grab this and move it forward. Let's say we're creating some kind of joystick or something. And again, I should be able to select both of these faces and loft between them and that immediately creates a solid or I can select the curves and loft between them and then just figure out how to um, fill the rest of this in. But this is a way to loft between two different shapes and it, it may be a little bit confusing if you're trying to loft between them when they're not one solid curve. And so it may be a little bit easier to either join them or possibly in this case, because everything is along a plane, to loft them by selecting the faces and lofting between them to create a solid. All right. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, sharing this video with your friends, liking this video, and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date.